Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night. Whatever time it is, at whatever time of day, we are here. <laughs> hi, how are you today? <clears throat> hi, hi, Giovanni. Hi, Cornell. Hi, hi, teacher, can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you. Okay, just a sec, please. Okay. okay. All right. Hi, Holly. Hi, hi, Giovanni. Where, where are you calling from? Is it Italy? Yes, of course. Okay. I think you, you, you were in a class a couple of weeks ago, weren't you? Um, maybe I don't remember. Okay, or somebody else with your same name. <laughs> so. Yeah, maybe. But you can call me Johnny, just like the famous American actor Johnny Depp. You know? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. You cannot see. You can notice the resemblance. You know. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, oh, I can't call you Giovanni. Sorry, could you repeat, please? Can I call you Giovanni? Yes. Okay. Yes. Gio Giovanni. Giovanni. I might, Giovanni. I might forget the um, the Johnny, but I will. I'll try to remember. And but I, I might. You might end up hearing me call it, say Giovanni. Yeah. Yeah. It, All right. It is a very, it is a very common name in Italy, and uh, it also uh, means. Uh, Johnny or John in English. In English, okay. I, yeah, Ivan in Russia and huh. Jean in France, you know? Okay. <laughs> I, I actually met a little, a, a newborn uh, baby uh, probably about two or three years ago with that same name. And okay. it was a, a Mexican-American baby. Um, <laughs> so, so it must be also a common name in Spanish, or at least it was for that family. So... Hello, hello, Cornell and Rafa. How are you today? Mm, I'm okay, more or less. And you? How is your dog, Holly? <laughs> How's my dog? You know, he has moved away. Mm. <laughs> my, <coughs> excuse me, my my mom's husband um mm. is uh, starting to. Uh, he's uh, 79 years old, and he's starting to struggle with memory loss. Mm -hmm. And um, my dog is really helping him um, with just the just the, because now he has somebody to to take care of and stuff like that so I saw him today I went and picked him up and spent some time with him but um, he's spending a lot more time at my mom's house than he is with me right now so um, it, it, it is a good way yeah uh, he my my his name is Jim and Jim lost his dog probably about six or eight months ago, but Alpo Ab, my dog Alpo absolutely loves him and would live there anyway. So he's pretty much taking has taken up residence at my mom's house. <laughs> so and my mom is like, oh Holly, Jim needs him so bad. So it it's just when when I take him away, um, uh, he misses him. He's like, where's where's Alpo? Where's Alpo? So. So he's right now. They're both seniors. <laughs> so yeah. Alpo is eleven. I, I, um, I have a I have a question. Uh, Jim, uh -huh. is, Jim is not a Hungarian name. <laughs> no, no. Jim is um I I don't know what his background is. American, but that's my mom's. Yeah, that's my mom's young. husband. Yeah. yeah. So Giovanni, this is this is the dog that Cornell is asking about. Oh, that's and, great. Yeah, he's he was actually born in Hungary, and then I got him when I lived in Finland, and then I brought him back to the states about five years ago. More more than a dog, it seems to be a a bear, a beer, you know. You know, a lot of people have thought that the, it, 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 especially when it's a far off, people think he's a polar bear. <laughs> Yeah, poor bear. Yeah, just the way yeah. the way he's standing. So he Alpo's eleven now, but in this picture he was probably about four or five years old. So he was okay. he was a, just a young dog at the time. So, okay. but yeah. So Colonel, this this dog is a Hungarian sheepdog. So it's they've got most of the dogs in the world are actually in Hungary. And uh, all the people they have, all the all the people that just love this breed, uh, you know, ha have researched Hungary and and so forth. A lot of people will go to Hungary and get a dog and and so yeah. forth. So, and I think there's three of them in the the class. But there's the Pumi, the Puma, Puli, and what's the other one? Cor Coronada, Coronada, or something like that. Uh, but three of them. 
So, <clears throat> but, and how are you, Rafa? I'm pretty fine, thank you. Good. Now, what time is it right now in in Europe? In Europe right now, I th it's ten o'clock. Okay, in ten a.m. Okay. Yeah, it's the same as Hungary. Hungary, and then and then Italy too. It's okay, yeah. so it's ten a.m. Okay. Yeah, it's and two a.m. It's two a.m. right now. <laughs> Hmm. So what what happened is I start I'm I'm I get done teaching like ten or eleven and then I'm so energetic I can't go to sleep anyway so I've I've decided well I'll just teach in the I'll teach in the middle of the night if there's a space and so and that's what I'm doing <laughs> so Abha Malek how are you yeah I uh, I'm fine how are you very good so where are you from and how do I how do I pronounce your name also? Abhimelek? Uh, uh, it's Abhimelek. Abhimelek. Okay. And and uh, where are yes. you from? Abhimelek. Ab Abhimelek. Uh, I'm from. <laughs> I'm from India. India. Awesome. What, oh. what part? Yes. What part of India? Uh, it's uh, West Bengal. West Bengal. Okay. Um. One of my best friends from university is from Bangalore. Is that that's probably a very very far away, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's what I'm, I thought. I'm from north, and uh, Bangalore did Bangalore south. Uh, south. Okay. Yeah, and actually, I guess his descendants. He's a descendant. His ancestors are from the north, but <laughs> the northern Indian food to me is the best. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a we had a when I lived in Finland, we had a yeah. rest. We had a restaurant, and the people were actually from northern India. And man, I I, I just loved going to this restaurant. <laughs> so, but anyway, mm -hmm. let's let's go ahead and get started. So we have Rafa from Italy. Yeah. Oh, good. I got it right finally. Okay. Yeah. And Cornell from uh, Hungary, and then we have Giovanni from Italy, and then uh, Abhimelech. Abhimelech. Yes. I'm trying to say the H because that's in some languages you do. Um, from India. Cool. So it's a very international. Um, for I'm from Idaho in the United States. Huh. Um, uh, Pacific Northwest or mountain region of the U.S. I'm about six hours north of Salt Lake City in a very small town. The size of my town is only 850 people. And um, so <laughs> it's very, very tiny. Um, let's let's go ahead and get started. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, meet you all. Um, a little, just a little bit about me, uh, real quick. I lived in Finland for eleven years. Um, I went there to teach business English. Um, I went there for a nine-month contract, and I stayed for eleven years. So people ask me, "Oh, did you like it there?" And well, yeah. <laughs> and then I also uh, started my career teaching English in 1994, uh, teaching in South Korea. So um, I've been in several several continents, and and now I started teaching online in 2006, and I absolutely love it. Um, took took a couple years off, and have have in the last couple months started back again, and I'm just having a, a lot of fun. And and here at Verbling, the thing that's so fun about it is you guys are all from so many different countries. It's it's just awesome. So okay, let's go ahead and get started. Um, today we're going to go through a, a reading exercise, reading and uh, pronunciation. We're, we're, we'll re uh, reading, vocabulary, pronunciation, and speaking are the main goals. So basically everything. Um, the topic is the accidental tourist. Uh, the ac sorry, not tourist. The accidental <laughs> millionaire. The accidental tourist is a movie, right? <laughs> yeah. The accidental millionaire. Does anybody have any idea, um, any guess what this topic, what this uh, article will be about? Do you have any guesses? I suppose uh, a lucky, uh, lucky man, a lucky girl, who came into an heritage, uh, and uh, of course, consequently, he, he's, she's very, very lucky, uh -huh. and uh, rich, of course. Okay, so inherited money. Okay, yeah. that's a good one. Okay, anybody else have a have a um, a guess? They are, they are having a lot of mistake in 
some bank account. The mistake that, is a uh, bank account, okay. Yeah, um, <laughs> they are later you need to return this money to the owner, to the uh -huh. proprietary that has, uh -huh. has, has had the mistake and it could be from this issue could be Okay, it could be. Okay, mistake. So either they they were lucky and they inherited money from an unknown um, a, a family member. A mistake in the bank account. Any other idea? By accident. By accident. In what way? I mean that uh, she doesn't know. Uh, what happened? Oh, she I mean, does. Okay, has she has no idea how she has, had got the money? Okay. Yeah. Okay, how mm -hmm. she got the money? Okay, okay, that's that. That's one way. Okay, any other ideas? Uh, maybe he she? he stole he stole money some from somewhere. Okay, she stole maybe stole money from from uh, uh, family or the bank or. Uh, her job, okay. So okay. Oh, well, uh, uh huh. Company um, or everybody went uh, bankrupt. So the the what? The company went bankrupt. Went uh, bankrupt. Uh, could you um? Could you uh, clarify what you mean, Car Cornell? Yeah, it, it, it is also an accident uh, uh, when uh, somebody uh, go uh, bankrupt. Okay, so somebody went bankrupt and she got the money. Okay, okay, all right. Let's let's go ahead and and um, go through this exercise. We're going to start out with a little bit of vocabulary. Then we are going to. Um, Go from vocabulary to reading the article, okay, and find out how she became an accidental millionaire, okay. So we're going to study the words and put them into the correct category below. Um, <clears throat> so crimes in the legal system. So uh, let, if these are new words, that is great. That's my hope is that these will be new words for you. But uh, let's start out with uh, this one right here. It's, it's pronounced a defendant. Is that uh, part crimes or the legal system? It's legal system. Okay. Yes, it's <clears throat> legal system. Yes. Um, yes. Legal legal system. Yes, and a judge. Crimes or a legal system? Legal system. Okay, how about a jury? Legal system. Okay, a law court. Legal system. Uh, yeah, this is kind of easy. Um, a lawyer. A lawyer. The same. Yeah. Uh, legal system. Okay. Legal system. Question for you: um, What is another word for a lawyer? Anybody know what the synonym for a lawyer Barist is? Barrister. Okay, that is British English. Is a barrister. Another one. Anybody know another one? Advocate. Lawyer. No. Lawyer. Starts with At a attorney. Yeah, an attorney. Okay. Yeah. And 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 ad an advocate. That's actually what the what they do. A lawyer, a barrister, and an attorney advocates, and so they can be called actually an advocate for somebody. But it is slightly different. But these are the three: a lawyer and uh, see a barrister is always always British English. Yeah. And uh, an attorney is the U.S. Is al always American English. Yeah. Uh, but for international, a uh, lawyer works for both. Um, some people uh, mispronounced it, pronounce it might, like myself sometimes when I'm reading a uh, lawyer and I sometimes I'll say lawyer <laughs> but so you will hear that mispronunciation by Americans British and non-native speakers all the time but it, the pronunciation is lawyer okay next word money laundering crimes okay crimes okay in Italy, we are specialized in money laundering. <laughs> you know, special. Uh, that's kind of the, the yeah, 
Uh, Giovanni, what is about the maf mafia uh, situation uh, in the uh, Italy in the recent day? No, I think that mafia doesn't exist anymore. I think that the real mafia people are politicians, you know? Real mafia, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what, do you guys know what the slang is in American English for the mafia? Um, I think that is... Okay, mm, I think that it's uh, it's important to define this term just because mafia mm -hmm. is a is a past term to to uh, to, um, to describe um, delinquency in, uh -huh. in Sicily, but mafia is, is has become uh, a term to describe uh, a high delinquency in terms mm -hmm. of uh, high crimes. Terrorism, mm. uh, money laundering, yeah. okay, mm -hmm. organized crime. Yes, yeah. and, You've got the point. Yeah, another uh, word that we use for mafia is mob. 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 Okay. It's, that's that's in American English. I don't know um, if it'll be if it is actually used um, in in Italy, for example, or in other yeah, parts. Yeah, for example, at, at the uh, beginning of the last century. Mm -hmm. uh, in America, mafia was called um, the Black Hand. If oh, I'm really? Not wrong. Okay. Black Hand, uh -huh. or uh, okay. In Italy, we usually say Cosa Nostra. You know, it's a oh. is a yeah Cosa Nostra. You know. Okay. But uh, I think it's a sort of stereotype because. Mafia people, as I said, as I said before, uh -huh. are politicians. Are all the politics? All the, all the politicians, yeah. <laughs> and you know, it's it's. I I'm actually from a part of the, um, a part uh, in the part of my area, part of my state, the the town that I, I that I live in five. That's five miles from where I'm living now. The town I was born in, is actually known for gangs, and it was no. It's known for the Mexican gangs, mm -hmm. so. I actually don't think of it Italy when it comes to gangs or mob or mafia that much. I think of Chicago, I think of Boston, and I think of Mexico. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, I I think it's quite similar to Mexico, but yeah, um, for for example, talking about talking about uh, mafia, mafia mm -hmm. is related to a uh, Italian region called Sicily. Uh -huh. Sicily. Sicily is the best region in Italy, you know, not oh. only for uh, beautiful landscapes, but also for warm people, for uh, beautiful people that you can f uh -huh. find them. I think that okay. one of the prerogatives of mafia is that is hidden. Uh, it's not difficult, it's not easy to, to detect, you know. Mm. Uh, okay. Uh, I have a lot of story about that, but maybe in another lesson. I don't want maybe to another be, time, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be too chatty, sorry. Yeah, no, it's, to, it's totally fine. If there were fewer people, we could actually do that a little bit more. So, let's go on, though. Murder. Crime. Crimes, yes. Crime. And prison. Legal system. Yes. Legal system. And um, shoplifting. Crimes. Everybody know what shoplifting is. A shoplifting is when you go into a store, you yeah. take store and uh, put it in your pocket, <laughs> leave. <laughs> yeah. So it's actually considered a, a, a we call it a, a petty a petty crime. Not that much, not that bad. You know, people get can go get into go to prison for it though. So terrorism. Yeah. Uh, is is crimes? Crimes. The prosecution. Legal system. Yes. Does everybody know all Legal these words? System. So everybody knows these words then. Theft. Uh, crimes. Crimes. Yes. Crimes. Theft is a. The theft is like if you steal something, if you steal a car, you you're gonna get arrested for theft. Yeah. Theft is more more uh, more. Uh, is 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 a b bigger uh, activity than uh, shop uh, shoplifting? Yeah, you can get. I mean, you can get. What is it? You probably get. Uh, it depends on the country, of course. But yeah, for theft, you might get a, a 
a felony, but for shoplifting you could just get a misdemeanor or even an, an infraction. Do you guys know these words? There's infraction, and this is American English. I don't know if the other countries have this. Infraction would be a, a, a lower crime. It would be a, a petty crime, something like um, uh, a car. If you get a, a, a minor car accident would be an infraction. Um, and then a misdemeanor. Me, uh, misdemeanor is uh, a higher crime if you get if you ca get caught with drugs and it's a lower a, a, a small amount you might get a misdemeanor um, certain types of crimes and then yeah, the uh, the felony is the worst yeah, exceeding the sp speed limit it is an infraction yeah exceeding the speed limit is an infraction a misdemeanor the the first few misdemeanor uh, first few DUIs you get do you guys know DUI? DUI. Um, uh, under uh, under um, I such influence uh -huh. of dra drugs and the alcohol, right? Uh -huh, yep. It's basically it stands for driving under the influence, but it's driving under the influence of of alcohol and drugs. Yeah. Yeah. Is so for in Netherlands? Excuse me. Is for in Netherlands? Can Except selling drugs. Except for the Netherlands, do they don't have the yeah. DUIs because it's uh, legal there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, drugs okay. uh, uh, is legal in Netherlands. Uh huh. Light drugs, uh, as far as I know. Yeah, but it's probably still not le not legal to drive with it. Hopefully, so can you guys think of any other words? Mm -mm -mm. Breach. Breach, like this one. Uh, that one. That is a violation in a uh, way. Uh huh. You're a breach of contract. Uh, yeah, and more or less a violation, especially between two people. Definitely. Any other words? Punishment, fine, a robbery. Okay, fine, punishment, and robbery. Yeah, I'm. D I'm not. I'm just typing them in. We. Robbery, that would be, of course, crime. Fine and, but, fine and punishment would be the legal system. Yes. Mug. Okay, to mug. Yeah. To mug. And that is also similar to rob. Um, yeah. Robbery, to mug, and to rob. Um, and anything else? Violation. Abuse, could be. Abuse, yes. Uh, that physical or sexual abuse, um, harassment, har sexual harassment or harassment yeah. of any way. Let's see, now you guys are checking my spelling. Oh, good, I spelled it right. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Any other words? Assault. Assault. Yes. Assault? Yes. Assault. assault? Yes. Assault with a deadly we weapon is somehow, sometimes ha how they say it. But I spelled out run wrong. Okay, two words, two S's. Assault. To, to shoot? Shoot? Yes. No, I mean to shoot. Uh, I, sorry for my mispronunciation. Is sue. To sue, okay. Yeah, yeah. to sue. To yeah, sue, to, to sue, okay. To or, or you could say also a, a, a lawsuit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Judgment. What, what was that? Judgment. Judgment? Yeah. Yeah, it, it, yeah, okay. it is the same as a judge. Oh, judgment. Judgment, okay. Yeah, judgment. judgment, okay. I, I didn't hear the judge part. I, I, I heard judgment. So, and then let's spell it right. Judgment. Good. To be charged with. Yes. Okay, anything else? To be accused of. Mm hmm. That's all the legal system. I think that. Uh, I think we've exhausted oh, this list. There's a lot yeah, more we could do. <laughs> oh. All of, 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 of us, we know uh, enough about this. <laughs> yeah, we can. Let's go on. <laughs> let's go yeah. on. Okay, let's let's do this real quick so we can get to the reading real quick. Um, 
let's do this. Uh, Abhimelech, uh, Abhimelech, could you do number one? Okay. Giovanni number two. Uh, Cornell number three. Um, and Rafa number four. And then together we'll do number five and six. If you guys can read it out loud and I'll write what you tell me to. So number one. Okay. Uh, if you deny that you did something, you say that you did not do it. Per correct. Okay. Number two. Uh, this is tough. Okay. If you... Hmm. Yes, uh, it could be admit, but mm -hmm. I was saying that claim is, I don't know, but if yes, claim, admit. If you claim, claim that you, you did something. You agree no, you, that you, you, uh -huh. you claim it, it could be claim in a way. You can, both of them will work actually. If you claim yeah. that you did something, I would say that claim um, is not... Oh, it would not be it was not used that much in that respect, but it would work. Okay. Yeah. So, um, number three. Uh, guilty. Yes. C can you read the whole thing? So, if you are found guilty yeah, of a okay. crime. If you are found guilty of a crime, a law court decides uh, that you were responsible for the crime. Correct. Okay, number four, Rafa. Can you read the whole thing? If you deny that something happened, you say that it happened, but um, no, no, I think no. it's admit better. It's if not you denied. admit, yeah, if uh -huh. you admit, I think that something Actually, happened. Uh huh. Claim claiming? works as well. Yeah. Admit. Mm -hmm. I th I saw claim first, but admit worked to work too. If it, if you claim that something happened, you say that it happened, but you cannot prove it. And it usually, the difference between these two words is very, 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 very small and minute. So both of them will work. But I, I see claim better with number four because um, you're not actually – admit usually you're admitting something about yourself. So you said that, say that you did something. Where with claim, it's, it's actually that something happened. So you claim that – that a um, you claim that you that you claim that a uh, a UFO came and stole some people. <laughs> you know, you claim that Martians came and and invaded the country, right? As something like that. So that's the difference. But however, both of those words will work. So. Number five, does anybody know that? If you are, mm, the police are trying to catch you and you're trying to avoid them. On the run. On the run, okay. On the run? Yes, on the run. Number six, if you are something to ten years in prison, you are given a punishment of ten years in prison by a judge in a court law court. Sentence. Se sentence. Sentenced, yeah. Sentenced. Yeah. In a court of law. I had a, a situation a year ago. I was working at a company, and um, <clears throat> we started having bomb threats. Mm -hmm. And you know that bomb threats. And um, it turns out it was my boss. And mm -hmm. and I was like, we were really surprised. He he was actually a, you know he was a a training manager. He's actually very very uh, had a very good career going for him. And he ended up spending six months in in jail, and he ended up he got uh, five years um, five years uh, felony proba probation, and um, I think it was a five thousand dollar fine, and it was actually quite light for what he did. So, um, but five thousand. Five thousand uh, dollars only. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> so, a five years felony probation. What and what he did was, um, he he dropped a note in the bathroom, and Whoa. one of one of my colleagues, her her, um, we were trainers, and one of the new new employees saw the note, and took it to her, and she took it to security, and all of a sudden the whole building was evacuated, and. Yeah. Uh, and it was it was a really weird situation. And then he participated in the um, 
uh, you know, it, being part of the management, executive management team, he was part of the investigation, and the whole time he was guilty. Hmm. So it was really, really weird. But huh. anyway, as I think of the court of law, he should have been sentenced to some prison time. But anyway, read the article on the next page and find as many words and expressions as you can from exercise one. Um, the, the other goal is to find as many words as you can that you don't know. So um, it was the banking error, error that was too good to be true. So whoever guessed the, um, whoever made this guess, number two, you were right. Who made that guess? Mm -hmm. Was that Rafa? Yes. Yeah, okay. So you guessed that one. Rafa is the winner. Yep, he won. Um, <laughs> you, he, you won our admiration for the hour. So, okay, so it was a banking error that was too good to be true, but that did not stop a New Zealand woman from enjoying the money that was accidentally deposited in her, in her partner's bank account. Um, so why don't we go ahead and we're going to read one paragraph at a time. Um, uh, after each one, we will stop to make sure you know any words. So, if there's a word that you are not sure of, or you want to, want clarification on how to use, please ask at that time. So, let's start with Rafa. You can read number one, Cornell number two, Giovanni number three, and Ab Abel. Yeah. Ah, Abel, I'm going to call you Ab Abi Malek. Yeah. That's it, Abi Malek. Abim I got it. Abimelech, yes. Okay, number four, and then we'll can start over again. Okay. So. Is this big enough, or do I need to make it bigger? Begin. Okay. Cara, let's go. Yep. Cara Haring, 33, became an accidental millionaire after her partner, Hai Gao, who ran a service station, request an overdraft of Fifty thousand pounds, dollars seventy seven thousand from Westpac Bank. Instead, the bank gave him nearly five million pounds over eight million dollars by mistake. Okay, so he requ requested. Requested. Does any anybody know what that is? Yeah. Mm. Call him to make a response or to answer about something. Mm hmm Okay. Anybody everybody know all the words from this word? Overdraft? I'm overdraft. checking that right now because I it just dawned on me that in American English uh, uh, overdraft has a completely different meaning. Okay, and it, it's uh, Investopedia says that um, an overdraft is um, an extension of credit from a lending institution uh. when an account reaches zero. An overdraft allows the individual to continue withdrawing money even if the f account has no funds in it. Basically, the bank allows people to borrow a set amount of money, and that's more or less in Amer in British English. Um, American English, we use overdraft a little bit differently. If your account is overdraft, it means you have no money, and so you, you we don't request an overdraft in American English. So, <clears throat> and also another thing, uh, this is just a difference in American English and British English. Uh, this uh, fifty thousand. Um, actually, in American English, we pronounce the S in pounds, where British English, they do not pronounce the S. So for them, it's 50,000 pound, and for us, it's 50,000 pounds. So it's a difference between American English and British English. So just a FYI, and I think it's just because we don't realize that British people do not uh, use the S. So, okay, and uh, number two, whoever I asked to read, Cornell. Cornell. okay. Yeah, uh, after several days, the bank realized uh, its error. By then, Haring had gone on a shipping spree and more than half the money had been transferred to other accounts. Police claimed she then 
flew to Hong Kong with her daughter and went gambling in Macau. Okay, thank you. Is there any words here that you do not know? Uh, what is spree? Shopping, shopping spree. Shopping. shopping spree is actually when a person goes and they spend all kinds of money. Uh, and they they just go into the store. They start putting start putting money in apart. Put, start putting things in the basket. Buy things without even looking at the price. My just, my my wife suffer from this. Shop, pathology. Yes. Does she? <laughs> yeah. Shopping spree. <coughs> well, I think a lot of people do actually. <laughs> but what is worse indeed is with my money. You know. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not her own money. Well, just take my money. Yeah, well, if you notice that this Kara Herring, it was not her money either. It was it was her hus her partner's money. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, I think I, I don't know some some and men. Actually, my dad is was more of a shopper than my mom is. He loved to shop. So some men do shop, but I think it's more of a women disease. So. <laughs> So yeah, this is when you don't look at the price. You just go and take, and you don't need to worry about it. So, any other words? Okay, number three. It's my turn. It okay. is, and I just took it okay. off the screen. Okay. So <laughs> okay. Haring was yesterday found guilty of death and money laundering by a jury at the Rototu Rotorua. Sorry, my. My no Macau, worries. Language, Macau <laughs> language is getting rusty. Wrote uh -huh. it through a district court. Uh, the mother of two was on the run for two years before returning to New Zealand in February. She told the court was uh, that she did not don't know where the money had come from until she watched the news while in China. Until then, she was under the impression that her partner had won the lottery. <laughs> Let me laugh. Are you there? Hello? Hello? Yes, can you hear okay. me? Yeah, I can hear you. I muted. And, and Do you guys think that's true? Did she really think that her partner had won the lottery? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. So okay. your question, yes, your question. Hear. Yeah. Yes. Your um, question is. Do you think that that is true? Do you do you believe her? No. Uh, it, it it could be, it could be uh, true, but uh, uh, Haring uh, was uh, very uh, fortunately fortunate. Yeah. So, I mean, it could be true. I'm I kind of doubt it because because she was gone for two years. <laughs> So, so and welcome Igor. If everybody doesn't, if any, everybody knows Igor. Hello, from, teacher. From Russia. It's nice to see you. Yes. Um. And, uh, could you read number five, uh, paragraph five, when we get to it? Uh. So. Oh, we're, uh, we're we're in paragraph. Not, not right now, but. When yeah. We we're in par yep. When we get there, we're in paragraph four now. Okay. And next person. Okay. Uh, in a video interview with police applied to the court, Haring said Mr. Gao checked his laptop one night in April 2009 and began yahooing and yelling as if he was on another planet. Since then, he had been very secretive. She also claimed that Mr. Gao had told customers at the service station where he worked that he had won the lottery. Okay. Thank you. Any words or phrases here? Okay, let's go on to number five. Igor, could you read that one? <clears throat> okay. But the prosecution claimed that Harin had told her mother about the bank's mistake, and then she went on a huge shopping spree. The prosecution said the woman had used her partner's bank card to make purchases and withdraw money from cash machines in New Zealand. She had also opened an account at Macau Casino, where she, casino, where she depo uh, deposited uh, 1,640 pounds. 
Okay, so so that's 164,000 pounds. Uh, 164,000 pounds. And good save on the casino. That was very good. Any words here? Uh, I have just a question for uh, the paragraph number four. Uh -huh. uh, okay, one night in April 2009, I began yahooing and yelling as it was on another planet. Yahooing uh -huh. is is uh, just Yahoo! like... <laughs> okay, this Yahoo! is what I... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay. So he was like, "All right, you know." And he, basically, probably all the words that he can say. Okay. And, uh, uh, yahooing and yelling. But is an idiomatic expression, or can I use uh, yahooing? I, you know, I've never seen it together like this. <laughs> um, okay. It, it's it's funny because the first uh, Yahoo uh, is is actually used the most in Korea. If if okay. you climb a mountain in Korea. When uh -huh. you get to the top, you're supposed to yell "Yahoo!" <laughs> okay. There is also there is also an internet portal Yahoo. Yeah, and I'm yeah. I'm convinced that that was started by Koreans. <laughs> okay. I haven't looked at the uh, at at the uh, owners of Yahoo, but I think that was a Korean company yeah, also, in the beginning. Also, uh, I I have a pronunciation question. Okay. So I read uh, in like. Not she had also opened, but she had also opened. Is it correct? Yep. You just you just sounded a little bit more fluent that way. I didn't even notice. So she'd also opened because that's what that's how I would have actually read it. So. Yeah. Uh, also, Harina told her. Harina told her. Uh, told right. her mom. It, uh, yeah, Harina told her. Yeah. That's totally fine. Told her mother. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Number six. Um, I'll go ahead and read the last uh, two paragraphs. Herring is forbidden to leave the country. She will be sentenced on 24 August. Outside the court, she admitted she was relieved that the case was over. I can't wait to see my kids, she said. But her lawyer, Simon, did you see that? I, I pronounced that wrong. But her lawyer, Simon Lance, denied that she was a runaway millionaire. Not one cent of Westpac money went into her bank account, he said. After the bank discovered its error, about half the money was returned from other New Zealand accounts. So how was she not a runaway millionaire? Any... A runaway millionaire is, is runaway is um, s someone who is escaping, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Millionaire means that he, she got this huge amount of money and she escaped, right? This, yeah, and guys, this is a real thing too. <laughs> Basically, ah. so this is this is actually real. Home detention, no walk in park, runaway millionaire sentenced. Huh. So, uh, runaway millionaire is someone who had a lot of money and who just uh, escaped to, to another country or yeah. tried from the prosecution or something like exactly. that. Exactly. Like, do you remember the guy? I think he was, uh, if you heard the news about the. The the young he was a young guy. He, his parents were millionaires. He's from the from Holland, and um, he apparently was involved in some type of uh, some um, an American tourist was apparently killed, and they think he did it. But then he was actually found down in South America, and he was just a, a gigolo. He's going from one country to another, and he did kill somebody about like five years later in in South America. Do you guys remember that case? No. 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 Yeah. Okay. It was you know mm. uh, Holland. Uh, he was from Holland, and his dad had apparently died, so he had um, he had all his money, and he was just a young kid, and he was uh, getting caught up killing people, you know, and he got he's now in one of the South American prisons, so I think they may have sent him back to Holland. Not, uh, not generally a nice guy. 
Yeah, yeah, but he was he was what you call a runaway millionaire because um he was technically a millionaire and he was able to get away from a prosecution just by running off. So, yeah. um and he was <coughs> I'm thinking that Col he was actually he had actually killed this lady in Colombia and and he took off and he was found in either Peru or Bolivia. But I'm not sure. I can't remember the guy's name, or I'd look it up. But anyway, but that's what a runaway millionaire is actually. Yeah, a millionaire that gets away, f gets away from, uh, gets away by running off. Uh, one pronunciation point, if I may. Uh, yes. Okay, in the last sentence, is it okay to say, uh, uh, went in your bank account? Went in your. Went no. We wouldn't understand that. Uh, how to? Uh, how do I need to say that? Um, no, not one cent of Westpac money went into her bank account. Into her, into yeah. her bank. And you can say you you can do into. You might be able to do into, but you would have to actually say her. Into her bank. No, into. It would have to be into her bank account. Into her. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That one doesn't. The the quick speak. You're you're trying to teach yourself the quick speak. Yeah, right. but but I think I heard something like, uh, I talked to her. I talked to her. Like I I talked to her. Yeah, I talked to her. Talked to her. So I don't this, know. This makes it's, sense. It's so normal for me. Um, you know, and uh, so. Okay. Any other words or phrases on here? So, um, Rafa got it right. You guessed it. Mistake in the bank account. It's in the country of New Zealand. Um, before we, we're gonna, there's some grammar activities we can do, but before we do that, I'd like to go to talking point. Okay, guys, what would you do in Kara Herring's situation? What punish do you think punishment do you think she should receive? So, um, what do you all think? Uh, can anybody summarize what, <laughs> what you were talking about? In this yeah. Part? Uh, yeah, I guess since you came in through half, could somebody explain to Igor um, what sh this lady actually did? Mm. Anyone want to uh, volunteer? Yeah, if you were in a nutshell, uh, a bank um, wrongly added a huge amount of money in her account, uh, bank account. And uh, and she uh, went away with this sum of money, and uh, she went gambling in uh, Macau, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, in a nutshell, she um, uh, she was wasted a lot of money. She spent uh, she spent a lot of money in. Uh, this m amount of money in uh, in in, um, in a way that uh, uh, she had no uh, the fact that she was uh, this money was not uh, uh, in her possession, you know. Okay. Sorry for my yeah. Sorry, but okay. Uh, My English. I, I, I got it. Yeah, no, so you you totally it. you did totally fine, Giovanni. Your English yeah. was fine. Um, uh, yeah. So it basically, she uh, a bank made the mistake, and the lady spent the money. <laughs> so. Yeah. And she did realize that this money wasn't deserved. <laughs> yes. Case. Yes, it, yeah. According, yeah. But she she claims in the, in the article she this is what we don't remember we don't believe, and this is what you came in on in the article she she claimed um, what was it where was it, uh, she, she was under the impression that her partner had won the lottery. Uh, it's kind of convenient in her <laughs> in her case. Yeah, and so so she was under that impression. I guess, um, yeah. So, but anyway, let's go to this real quick. Um, what would what would you do in her her situation? Um, the same. The same. <laughs> oh, would you spend the money? Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, it it is illegal, but I think uh, Kara Haring uh, was uh, very wasteful. 
to to buy, buy uh, everything uh, uh, from the money because uh -huh. uh, it it was a uh, unknown money. Mm -hmm. I mean, which, I can. Uh, which yeah. uh, which um, was uh, transferred to her bank her account. account. Yeah, so it was it was unknown. So she should have just stayed, she should have just left it there until uh, yeah. until she found out what it was. She I, she she would have uh, consulted uh, to bank uh, what is the money uh, on, yeah. on his uh, bank account. She should have asked them. Yes. So she, like you said, she should have consulted the bank, or just you could say she could have asked them, "What is yeah. what is this money?" Um, what do you think, uh, Cornell or anybody? What do you think Kara's um, motivation was for going to a casino? Ah, easy game. I think is it, a, is it, it is a simple, simple game, and uh, I think uh, uh, Kara. Uh, like uh, play playing uh, casino uh, games no. or, or something like that, but mm -hmm. but uh, or uh, it, it no. was a it it was a simply uh, simply mm, mm, how to say in English uh, just a moment. No, I think that good gambling is a, is a common way to to for money laundering. Uh huh. Okay. Yes. It is very used in Italy. That's why I know. It's okay. It's used. it's also used a lot in Monaco, right? Isn't that close that to Italy? Could be another another situation. When you are gambling, you need a lot of money. Mass, uh -huh. As much money you have, mass you can win. For yeah. this reason, I think if you have so bunch of money, you can go to gambling because is you have more probability to win. Uh huh. Because so you have a you, bigger, bigger probability. Yeah. It's a, a bigger stake, big, bigger win. Yeah. yeah. Well, because I was thinking, okay, she knows the money's not hers, so if she goes to the, goes to the casino, and she wins money, she can still pay that money back and still have some of her own. I I, I think <laughs> uh, she did exactly the stupid thing, in, in my opinion. It's like. If you know uh, the money is not yours, and you you want uh, you want to keep it, uh, why not just you know uh, go to another country and uh, withdraw all the money from your account and go to another country? She did. And uh, the country that you know, uh, like Mexico. <laughs> oh yeah, she sh she should have gone to a country where she could not get extradited. Do you know yes. that word? Yes. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm spelling this right. Okay, extra dieted. Um, yeah. uh, that's probably what she should have done. But she did go to another country, um, um, Igor. She lived in, uh, this happened in New Zealand. Yeah, and she went, she went to Hong Kong. But yeah. I think Hong Kong can easily extradite, extradite any other. Uh, criminals. <laughs> yeah, as well, especially since uh, I mean, I would assume. Uh, this, uh, Why not Brazil, for example? Brazil is the best country for uh, people who is escaping. You know, because there ain't no ex extradition. And there is no extra extradition. Yeah. There's no extraditing in in Brazil. I didn't know that. So if I were to accidentally break the law, I should take a, a take a trip down to Brazil. Yeah, it's the That's best country. That's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> okay, A lot I, of Italian criminals are there right right now, you know. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm I'm thinking that another place for an American citizen would be Cuba. <laughs> yeah, yes, in another place. Well, there are lots of places where you can hide. <laughs> really? Yeah. So she just didn't go to the right places. But of course, she was on the lam. Oh, uh, um, uh, talking for two uh, years. Talking, talking about felony, uh -huh. I think that the best uh, place for a uh, uh, felony, but just for United States, uh -huh. is Russia. As just like uh, Edward mm -hmm. Snowden, you know, that is Russia right now. I mean, the, is Edward Snowden? Uh, I don't remember exactly. Oh is, yeah, is, is, is this? 
Is this the uh, the guy who he ended up going to Hong Kong, but he's the guy that uh, stole, uh, he gave some tr uh, uh, CEI trade secrets or something. CIA. Yeah, yeah. yeah his Russia's last name, his last name was Snowden, I believe. Yeah, Snowden, Snowden, yeah. Snowden, yes, it's yeah. Snowden. Yeah. Russia is the best place to live in for him. For him, I, or you know, you know another... I don't, I don't think he lives to quite a good, quite a great li uh, life there. I think they requested something in return, like all the information he knew about yeah. the USA. Uh -huh. Just actually let him be here. Well, he also. Um... So he struck a bargain. In the, in the, in the yeah, he, he did. But, you know, another thing you could just, uh, I'm just, he, he was, I mean, uh, this lady, Kara, was on the lam for two years. Okay? So do you guys know what I mean by that? On the lam. Uh, okay. She was uh, like a criminal. <laughs> she was trying to escape. Yeah, so she, she was on the lam. That means they could not find her for two years to be on the lam. But uh, another way to uh, to hide from for, hide if you've done a crime is stay in your own area and just live off the grid. Do you guys know what that means? Yeah, you mentioned when you don't have any access to modern technology. Yeah, to live off the grid is another possibility. <laughs> Go to Russia and live off the grid. <laughs> There okay. are, you know, satellites that can find you. Yeah, so Abi Mel Melek, what would you do if you were in her situation? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> what, what punishment do you think she should receive? Uh, maybe uh, she should receive... Uh, she should be in prison mm -hmm. for that crime. Okay, so imprisonment. Because, uh, because that was, uh, yes, imprisonment. Because uh, it was a lot of money. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, it, it was a heck of a lot of money. So, Cornell, what do you think? Uh, how how exactly? Uh, how much uh -huh. exactly was? It was five. It was uh, five million pound. Cornell, Cornell. Yeah. Uh, in my opinion, first of all, Kara Herring uh, should refund uh, the bank money uh, to back. Uh -huh. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, she should uh, get a simple warning. Uh, just a simple warning. So a simple warning, but it, it depends on a. Uh, the uh, the laws uh, of, of of the country. Mm. Okay, so so is she? It looks like, from what I've been able to tell and what I just googled, um, she ended up um, getting no uh, home detention. Home detention, yeah. So what does it mean? That's, home detention is where you where you have to stay at home, and you're basically it's called house re, house arrest. So uh, it's it's a final pun punishment. Yeah. So let's see. Uh, they were they weren't easy on her really. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, I would expect them just uh, the to incarcerate her. Yeah, in the states, um, they do a home detention, or they they call it house arrest, for um, people who are um, not um, uh, uh, who are not, you know, a a threat to society, and yeah. and they'll put what is it? They'll put a little ankle anklets on their on their um, on their on their feet. And you have to wear those, and if you are not in the house by a certain time, then you uh, might have to go to prison. No, uh, what what about going to buy some things? Yeah, I think that you're given time to do stuff like that, but it's a very little. Who, who was it? It's uh, it was I think it's Lindsay Lohan. I think she got under house arrest, and what was the who was the other uh, pop star? 
uh, Britney Spears. Do you remember oh. them? Yeah. They both they both ended up under house arrest because um in because they're not a threat they're not a da they if if you're not a danger to society. Yeah. They're still empty handed. <laughs> yeah, well, both of yeah, <laughs> yeah, they both are. After oh, it was said that after his home detention, Britney Spears uh, composed the song "Hopes I Did It Again." <laughs> Did she? <laughs> 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 That's funny. <laughs> Hello, we can't hear you. I can't. Yes. Oh, sorry. It, ever since I got this cold, I've been muting myself to cough, and then I forget. <laughs> so, um, but it, it, uh, I was I was saying that uh, when there they have when there's prison overpopulation, they always take people who who are not a danger to society and give them a, put them under house arrest or um, what was that? I'm British English in Australia. Is New Zealand English? What do they call it? Um, home arrest or home something. I don't even have it anymore. Um, but they put it under house arrest. So anyway, <clears throat> okay. Um, do you guys have any questions about any words or phrases today? Um, uh, let me give you the link for this so because there are some grammar activities that you can go through and study on your own and the answers are in the back so you can you can study and then also look check up check your answers so I'll give you the, the link for that um, but any any questions or comments no okay amazing lesson I, I'm glad I, it was fun. I I always have fun with you guys. So I I would I, like to to have a home detention with you. You know, uh, just just to improve my communication skills in English. You know, a, a home what? A home yeah. a house arrest? <laughs> yeah, so the rest with my, with you as an English teacher. You know? Yeah, <laughs> you know, one of my <laughs> dreams is to actually open up in a really small town uh, somewhere in the U.S. a, a um what is it, a bed and breakfast, and then set it up to market it to people like yourselves who want to study English, and you come over here for a holiday, but have the bed and breakfast close to a golf course, uh -huh. whitewater rafting, all this other stuff, and then in the morning you have English class, and then in the afternoon you go out and experience the area. Good and idea. <laughs> don't you think it's a wonderful idea? I even found the I found the um, the bed and breakfast, and it's it's right close to a big canyon where you can go whitewater ra rafting, and then right right next to a golf course and all that. But it's like two million dollars. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, okay. You should ask uh, Haring uh, Haring for. Uh, that okay. I, I can ask her for <laughs> ask her for that. So yeah, I actually. For money. I actually told my uh, my professor from graduate school about that. She's a professor now in in uh, Macau, actually. And she, I told her about that. And about six months later, she said, "Holly, do you have a room? Because I could I could actually send one of my students over to your house." <laughs> so, <laughs> but anyway, all right. Well, you guys have a, a wonderful uh, day. Um, as we say in Finland, "Huva uh, paiva or continue to have a good day. So, okay. Okay. Thank Thanks, you. Guys. Thank you so much. Thanks. Greetings from Italy. Thank you. Yes. Bye, y'all. Bye, bye. 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 Bye